KSYM, San Antonio College Radio. This is the Urban Suite D Major, Cheryl Metal, as promised for our second open mic session this evening. We have our friend Stephen Bellabin to speak about all the wonderful things going on at Fake Floor Inc. Yeah. Um, first off, welcome back. Thank you. Second off, I hope you're uh, drying off okay. Yeah. Um, like I say, everyone listening in, like right before we went on, like just a quick hard downpour. Yep. It was a mini flood. Mini it really flood. was. That was yeah. ugly. I had to step on onto the bench, metal bench, while it was wet, so I wouldn't. My shoes would be more inundated than they were already were getting. I. <laughs> Sorry you had to endure all this. That's all right. But we, we are happy to have you here. It's been a while. Uh-huh. It's been a while. So, uh, yeah, let us know what's going on. Um, we've been seeing uh, uh, quite a few you know, hints and, and uh, tracks being leaked from the uh, upcoming uh, album from Chesky. Yes, bring us ahead of uh, Francisco Fal False Part 1. So um, this is going to be his final solo album of his illustrious career. Um, part one and part two of his final solo albums include the same name, obviously, because it's a part one. So yeah, Chesky's uh, kind of like been a friend through social media since MySpace days. Uh -huh. um, through my friend Dacos, who like I went to Highlands with here in San Antonio. Um, he, I showed him company flow and he's like, oh, you like the music I like. And then he gave me an Anticon sampler and then my life is over from that point. <laughs> nice. Dose One becomes my favorite musician. I become friends with uh, Christian, Moody Black, uh, through MySpace, Chesky, Anonymous Inc., uh, Mestizo, uh, like I meet early on um, at a show, at a Quill show. Uh, yeah, and it's like the beginnings. And I, I've told Chesky, yeah, that we've had that connection for that long through MySpace and he, he wasn't even aware of that. So yeah, um, I started out as an intern on Fake 4 2012, mm -hmm. which was like uh, four years into the label's existence. Um, so yeah, his first solo album was Fake Flowers. And like I said, this is gonna be Bring Us to the Head of Francisco, Par Francisco False Part One. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read, read this little description of the album that uh, comes with every band camp album for the most part. Cool. Um, Bring Us to the Head of Francisco False is the final album of Chesky Ramos' solo discography, which started in 2004 with the album Fake Flowers, as I mentioned. A lo-fi bedroom hip hop unraveling of childhood trauma. This finale is an exercise in confronting overwhelming grief by closing doors in order to open new ones. It is a two-headed, oftentimes emotionally contradictory record inspired by rebirth after death, the beauty of endings, and the multiple meanings of the term revolution. It is as tender as it is rage-driven and as naively hopeful as it is disenchanted. It is a goodbye to shady drug games and even sh uh, shadier music games while serving a thank you to the countless lost along those paths. Rest in peace, Six, though, who was mentioned on this album. Yeah. Um, on a track we couldn't uh, include tonight because we couldn't radio edit <laughs> it, but you could hear it on Bandcamp or <coughs> YouTube if you want. Well, actually, I think it got taken down off of YouTube, but yeah, Bandcamp. Um, Deezer, Spotify. Uh, throughout this 70 minute exorcism, there are oats to musicians, thinkers, and friends who help form Chesky's artist identity. There are sentences from shredded up love notes and suicide notes all piled uh, up amongst each other, rolled into balls and thrown at unsuspecting listeners. All of those half thought scribbles written by someone who never expected to make it out 240, but decided to stick around and sift his way through the cultural recycling bin that is modernity. Mm. This is freedom from previously built expectations. This appreciation for all of the obstacles and experience of the past while marking an official start to a new life, new family, new priorities, it's closure. A, eul a eulogy can really be the most important type of love letter. Mm. Now I will say that um, this album has was delayed for quite a few years, I yeah. believe. It was supposed to come out a few years ago, but now it's finally, you know, uh, getting its release on April 4th. So um, everyone bookmark that on April 4th. There might be some still, um, there actually is still a, a limited vinyl available. Oh, that's good. 
for the price of 44.44, which is uh, our, our label pick for. So uh, we got to still still that uh, multiple fours from Jay Z because he thought he had it first, but it really was ours. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, so this is part one. Um, pretty sure um, he'll be planning when he wants to release part two. My yes. question is. Um, this will be the end of his uh, recording career, but um, won't be the end of his recording career. It won't be the end of his. Career. He's still doing stuff with like co-defendants with. Uh, okay. Yeah. Lead singer of No Effects. So um, he'll still be performing, just not under. Chesky. Uh yeah, just not uh, unless like someone like gets a house party out of nowhere, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, April seventh, he'll be in Houston. And, really, and I'm kind of bummed because I'm not going to be able to make it. And oh, April seventh oh, wow. is the anniversary of my first UFC in Houston and UFC sixty nine. So it's like the serendipity slapping me in the face. Mm. Wow, yeah. And I really want to go. Wow, yeah. So uh, see, two thousand seven is almost a twenty year anniversary since I, you know, told Dana White I wanted to be one of his fighters, and I know y'all just had an MMA guy on the show recently, so. I'm gonna have to hook me up with that dude. So um, yes, indeed. Shouts yeah. out to Marcel Mickens. Yeah, yeah. You could throw champion. Each uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, you could throw each other's martial arts knowledge on the table and you know compare and contrast. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Um, so, um, and has he uh, decided to? When he might release part two as of yet. He's always waiting to see what track he um, gets off the first. I'm, the first I'm part. guessing part two will be like exactly a year from part one or more, give or take. But that's, that's just your own guesstimate. That's my guesstimate. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. And also, uh, one last thing uh, tomorrow's my uh, nephew's birthday. Actually, it's past midnight, so happy birthday to my nephew, Talon. Happy birthday. Yeah, you happy, happy birthday, birthday Talon. On the radio, like when you're a kid and you're going to school and the stupid happy birthday song came on. <laughs> Man. It just makes you nostalgic when you're yes. on the radio saying happy birthday. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, um, so how how is he uh, running uh, the day-to-day -day of uh, Fake 4? Um, everything seems fine with, with yeah. how he's running that for right now? He's got, um, like, any good business owner like 10 different hats on at all times I'm pretty sure yeah and running around the label. yeah and, and there's a lot of good artists on there yeah and um, a lot of good music that yeah. I've seen a lot of good artists most oh, LGBTQ yeah. representation you'll find on any label indie or otherwise true yeah that is true that is true um it, as he said if he might return to San Antonio for a uh, I don't know, but no, I mean, we could take a road trip out to Houston on the seventh. <laughs> I mean, I'll pay good. for I'll pay for the gas and everything. <laughs> it's more than spending. It's better than spending sixty dollars on a round trip Greyhound. Good point. <laughs> good point. Hey y'all, uh, stay tuned. We've got more with Stephen coming up. In fact, uh, in this block of music, we have a lot of great stuff from Fake Four. Um, we're going to get into a track from uh, Lucy Morningstar and also from Jake Hill, uh, two artists that uh, Fake Four featured on their Free Simber, uh, uh, yeah, Free Simber that just passed. Uh, let's go ahead and get into a track from Bring Us the Head of Francis Francisco Falls, Part One, a Little Tongue Tied. Yep. This is Chesky with a We Are Enough, such a strong track. Hey, y'all, stay tuned. More coming up. This is the Urban Suite, KSYM. San Antonio College Radio.